So for the core workout, you have two different circuits that you're gonna repeat twice. Each exercise is 20 seconds with as many reps as possible. First exercise is sitting twist, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Michael's gonna get seated, his feet are up, and he's just gonna twist. Now, if you wanna do this exercise using a medicine ball or a dumbbell, that's completely fine. For our purposes today, we're just gonna use straight up body weight. Good, about halfway there. Keeping his core nice and tight. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Right into a plank. Good. So, you can see that he's got a nice straight line. Actually, I'm gonna have him come up just a tad. Good. You really wanna make sure that your hips are not dropping down. That is what really leaves your low back susceptible on this exercise. His elbows are right beneath his shoulder. He's in the perfect plank position right now. Good, two, one. Okay, right into butt ups. So Michael is back on his back, his feet are up, and he's just gonna touch up to my hand. Perfect. So his head is down, his hands are secured at his side, and again, you really just wanna force your butt off the ground and come straight up in a line. Good, and five, four, three, two, and one, time. Good, right into heel touches. Yep, so right back down, and he's just alternating side to side again. He's already in a flex position. His starting position is flex. So he's not resting at all. This is constant tension on the abs. And again, you guys, you wanna try and get in as many reps as you can in these 20 seconds. Go in five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Right into V-sit. So Michael's gonna sit up. Modified V-sit, he's gonna, yep, and he's crossing over. Perfect. This requires leg strength, abdominal strength. Good. And he's keeping his core nice and tight. His hands are secured at his sides. Good, and just five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, right into 100. So he's back down, and he's just tapping his hands right to his heels. Try and come all the way up to your heels. There we go. Again, he's not resting. His, his starting position, his, there's already tension in his abs. Perfect, and 10 seconds left. He's feeling it, I can tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Time, right into plank step up, so he's gonna flip right over. He's in the plank position, and he's right up on those hands. So again, he's bringing his hand right underneath his shoulder. Perfect, don't cheat this. People I see, they wanna come out to here to cheat the tension off of the tricep and the shoulder. Don't do it that way. That's also gonna take the tension off of your obliques and that is not what we want. Good, and time. Right into our plank walkout. So Michael's just inching out, inch by inch, and then he's coming right back. Good, it's a small movement. Don't go out too far. That's gonna make your back susceptible. You're just inching out. This is a great exercise especially going plank right into this. It's extremely difficult. Good, and time. Right into a cross crunch. So he's back on his butt, back in that starting position. Good. And he's coming straight up and touching the top of his knee, really squeezing. That's the most important part when you are doing crunches is that on the way back down, you're not just relaxing. You really want to keep tension all the way through the movement. Good, in five, four, three, Two and one. Right into bicycle crunches. There we go. So he's crossing it over, bringing the knees all the way in and out. Good. And about 10 seconds left. You should be breathing hard. Your abs should be burning. You should yep. be pushing. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. That's the end of round one. Let's get right into round two with seated twists. Perfect. Oh, he's, he's on it. Feet are up, core is tight. You guys should really be pushing through these, getting as many reps in as possible in these 20 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, and one. Right into our next exercise, plank. All right, so Michael's back, back around. His elbow is right underneath his shoulder. Perfect, he's in a perfect plank position. A lot of times I see people do this exercise, they've got their um, torso is kind of sinking down. That is a big, big, big no-no that leaves you very, very open to injury. You wanna stay in a perfect line with your body. But three, two, one. Right into butt-ups, perfect, let's go. 
Okay, so his head is nice and relaxed, and he's just launching those legs right off the ground. You're gonna feel this deep, deep, deep in your abs. Again, you should be winded. I can hear that he's winded. You should be winded at home. This should be taxing you cardiovascularly. And five, four, three, two, and one. Time. Moving right into heel touches. 20 seconds. How many reps can you do? Every single round, you should be pushing to get more reps in. Every week, you should be improving. Good. 10 seconds left. Good. And five, four, three, two, and one time. Right into modified V-sits. All right, so he's back up. Here we go. Good, that's perfect. Killing it. You really want to keep your legs nice and straight. If you need more support, you can put your hands behind you while you do this exercise. Good, it's four, three, two, one. Good, right into hundreds, back down. Here we go. Good. These little crunches, these tiny movements, really, really work the abs. They're deceivingly hard. They're deceivingly amazing, too, for getting results in your abs. They really create those nice, deep cuts that everybody wants. Good, three, two, and one, time. Plank step ups, let's get into it. So Michael's flipping back around, nice transition there, perfect. Good, good. He's gonna try and get 10 on this side and then move right onto the other side. Perfect. Good, just about five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Right into a plank walkout. How are you feeling? It's burning. <laughs> there we go, that's what it should be doing. There's no mistake in where my core is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Every exercise we're doing, we're really firing every single muscle of the core. So often I see people working core front to back. We're working it from all angles today. Good, three, two, one, time. Right into a cross crunch. He's gonna flip back around. Here we go. Again, everything is tight. He's not letting go when he's on his kind of downswing of this exercise. He's staying in, in, uh, in a position where the abs are constantly engaged. Good, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, time. Right into a bicycle. Here we go. This is the type of pace that you guys wanna try and be at. He's really, really pushing it. Perfect. Good, perfect, over halfway there. And five, four, three, two, one, great. So that's the end of circuit one. Let's move right into circuit two with the shoulder bridge. Michael's gonna get himself into position. Good, so he's got his feet planted firmly on the ground and he's just lifting his hips off the ground, pushing right through his heel. His head is firmly on the ground. His hands are on the ground. He's keeping the rest of his body nice and relaxed. Good, four, three, Two, one. Now we're gonna move into the quadruped alternating. Gonna flip back over. He's coming right out, giving it a nice second or two to, um, to, to stay in that flex position and then switching right back over. We've worked the front of the body, now we're working the back side of the body. Perfect, this is a great um, exercise for stabilization. I use it with all my clients, especially with my athletes. And one good, right back into our shoulder bridge. Perfect, so he's back down, perfect. You really wanna be squeezing and pushing your hips as high up to the sky as you possibly can. If you feel any tension in your low back, just move your feet towards your butt, just slightly. Just that little adjustment will take a lot of pressure off the low back. Squeeze it. Good, two and one, right back over. Good, last set. We are so close, perfect. 20 seconds. Again, notice Michael isn't just swinging. He's making sure that he's got his leg out, his arm out, and he's stabilized before he's moving on to the other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Time. How you feel? I can feel the got burn. The, got the abs? Yeah. yeah. Great job, you guys. That's it for your core workout. I'll see you back here tomorrow.